Hey everyone, it's a very busy time of year for letterboxes. Between the Christmas cards, the election pamphlets, as well as all those usual assortment of local takeaway menus. You know, I guess those places are presumably hoping to cash in on people burning their Christmas dinner and ordering in chicken wings, pizza and lamb koftas. Those election pamphlets, so there's only a couple more of them to come really, as it's just the last final couple of days before the big election. And I guess for MPs it must feel a bit like being back at school, you know, a few days before the big exam next week. I say exam singular because having seen them going up against the intellectual powerhouse of Andrew Neil or just random members of the public, I'm not really sure how many of the current roster of MPs even have more than one qualification. Then again, I guess you do have the couple hundred of them who managed to get into university by relying on their father wearing the right kind of tie to the open day. And there's those whose understanding of figures and numbers doesn't really need to go any further than knowing what a treble 17 on a dartboard is in the sports and social bar. I guess math is probably pretty useful too when they need to calculate how many postal votes to run off on a photocopier in order to win a marginal constituency in the West Midlands. At this stage, of course, people already know who they're voting for, so really the whole campaigning bit is a charade because everything just comes down to the few couple of key constituencies and mostly what the turnout is, which will largely be determined by the weather, and I don't know who I trust less, really, political forecasters or weather forecasters. For what it's worth, my take on it is a 22-seat Conservative majority, but I also think Boris might lose his seat, because polling in his London Oxbridge constituency is a lot tighter than people have been led to believe, especially with Brexit on the table, and then have toying with putting £50 in Michael Gold being in number 10 in a month's time. Pretty sizable odds for something that's actually not too outrageous a possibility. Or perhaps Boris will win and it'll all be over in a week. But if you're a fan of elections, don't worry, because the juggernaut that is the US presidential election is coming down the road with a scale and a cost and a four-year regularity that puts Star Wars to shame. But I'm sure we can get around to talking about that at some point in the next 47 weeks. Blimey. Oh well, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Remember to vote on Thursday.